Good morning, my friends. It is me, Melissa and Ginger. It is 7 a.m. on the 29th of September 2018. I have in my hands Acer America runs on Duncan. The problem is, Duncan Donuts never ever gets your order right. Mmm. Today I'm saying screw it to intermittent fasting because today, today I made it. I made it to the end of these last two months of hell. I got paid by Amazon. I can pay my mortgage, pay my bills, buy the kids food, put gas in my car. Oh my God. The last two months have just been hell on earth. And, and it was close. Down to 50 bucks in checking account yesterday. But uh, made it through. Made it through. And that's why I took the kids out for Dunkin' Donuts today because um, we haven't eaten out or done anything fun for a long time. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes so good. It tastes so good. You have no idea the weight that has been lifted from my head to have made it here and have money back in the bank account. And more than that, as the way publishing works, um, you get paid 60 days after month's end, so I know next month is sorted as well. And the month after that, it's a slight dip, but only very slight. And I know that's sorted as well. And already I've I published a book this month, uh, time I did my last video. That's already making as much money as the previous bestseller, so this is sustainable. This is this is sustainable. I can do this. Um, I can do this and I can build on it and it's like this is the foundation on which I build the rest of my life. <sighs> my God, it was a fight to get here. It was a real fight to get here. Um, I think the only time I nearly cracked was uh, literally last night. It was, actually you know, it was yesterday, it was about two in the afternoon. I just got a tension headache and I was just like, I can't, I couldn't cope. But you, you do cope, I mean, that's the thing. Um, it doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. Uh, so, I just carried on, one foot in front of the other, and then here we are today. I couldn't sleep last night. I've been up all, like, all night. But when the California time hit, and I checked our bank, and the money had come in, it was like, oh my God. I can pay the mortgage, pay the bills. <sighs> I can breathe again. Ugh. It's this is a very boring video, I know, but it's difficult to communicate just what a difference this makes and how big of a deal this is. It has been such a struggle this year. I've taken so many hits. I know. It's not even the end of September. I've got two more days left of it. And, um,. And that's kind of exciting. What more can I squeeze out of this month? Um, but what do we have going into the next month? Well, I think if I've learned anything this year, it's that life isn't about how much you can accumulate. It's how much you can shed. It's how much you can get rid of that doesn't make your life better. That doesn't give you joy. That doesn't make you stronger or richer. Um, and I think moving forward in this next month, I've got to do some more of that. I've also got to tackle tackle my own headspace. I mean, right now I'm on the brink of everything I've ever wanted. And, you know, I'm still a grumpy old bastard sometimes. 
I just need to stop and take a deep breath and appreciate every moment for what it is. I think I mentioned the it's almost I feel like it's the third season of The Flash where The Flash finds out the bad guy is actually like a version of him from the future and it's kind of like the next big battle I have is going to be against myself. It's going to be to become the person who can appreciate everything that I've got now. But that's going to be interesting and I will keep you along for the ride. But for the time being, I'm just going to take a moment and have a nice breakfast and just just enjoy having made it this far for this one moment I remember making a video actually uh, a couple of months ago when I was like I made it for one day I made it as a writer and you know sometimes I've let my hands off the reins a little in that time but I continue to make it as a writer ever since then and I'm just gonna build on it and get stronger it's crazy I'm trying to think of all the different things that I've learned and it's been a very educational couple of months. I mean, I think the biggest thing is that you have to get rid of the things that don't make you stronger. You have to prioritize what does make you stronger. I mean, I've realized that writing is this thing I prioritize and I was prioritizing anything but that. You've got to be selfish with your time. There are other people who are gonna make demands of your time and you can't, you can't let them. There are going to be other people who don't believe in you. It's a quote from Arnold Schwarzenegger that I heard where he goes, trust yourself. And that's what you've got to do. If you believe you have a dream and you know that it's working, you have to trust yourself because other people aren't going to trust you and they're going to tell you to give it up and to be realistic. And they're going to tell you to compromise and settle for mediocrity. And you can't do that. You just have to keep on trucking and you have to believe in yourself anyway it's getting restless I guess I was going and you know, I went out to Dunkin Donuts it was fun I just felt like a different person like a huge weight had been lifted from me uh, we'll see how the next weeks go I think the thing is in life that sometimes you just want to bottle moments and bottle feelings like the feeling of gratitude I have right now I just want to cling on to it's any time in the future when I feel grumpy or hard done by, I just want to remember this moment. I remember how bad things were and how good it felt when they came right. Because I don't ever want to take what I have built right now, today, for granted. Because it took so much hard work and so much sacrifice and so much self-discipline and so much grit. I don't ever want to diminish the the feeling that I've got having achieved it all. And the sad thing is, I know I will. I think that's the problem with life is you reach a certain peak and then you just look for a higher peak and you start marching towards there and you get dissatisfied if you don't, don't reach that peak. But I think it's important to take a moment and just take a deep breath and just be like, I made it this far. I've made it further than I've ever made it before in life. I've achieved something that I used to only dream about. I've achieved something that people my entire life have told me that I should be sensible about and not chase. And I don't know. I just never want to look back. I never ever want to look back. I'm going to carry on from this point and I'm going to march forward. I'll see where it takes me. Anyway. I've rabbited enough. Thank you so much. Um, I will keep up doing videos and I will see you very soon. Cheerio. And just remember, I've said it before, many times before, where my brother used to sign off his emails, keep the faith. Keep the faith. Whatever your dreams are, you can achieve them. You can achieve anything you want. You can have anything in life. You can't have everything, but you can have anything. So just believe in yourself and believe in your dreams and keep working towards them. Never compromise, never doubt yourself and keep the faith whatever you do. Thank you very much. I will speak to you soon. Bye.